What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. I've got two big stories for you. So let's dive right in. Our first story of the day has to do with the prices of the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. Some official work has come out <laughs> from this guy. This guy's been leaking tons of stuff on this Pixel phone. And um, this is a, a, a official PR stuff that's coming out. And I'll link it down below if you wanna watch it. It's on Twitter. And um, it basically it goes through a bunch of things about the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. So colors, well, let's just talk about price. Price for the Pixel 8 Pro will be $899. It's the same as the Pixel 7 Pro that came out at $899. Starting storage on this will be 128 though. Just remember that it's kind of low, but for 899 for a basically a flagship phone, it's it's really impressive. Uh, Pixel 8 will come in at 699. Pixel 7 came in at 599, so there will be a hundred dollar price increase on that phone. But still, it's pretty inexpensive for a somewhat flagship phone. Um, eight gigs of RAM on the Pixel 8 again. Uh, Pixel 8 Pro will have 12 gigs of RAM. The refresh rates on the display will be 60 to 120 on the Pixel 8 and 1 to 120 on that Pixel 8 Pro. Cameras are going to get a 50 megapixel uh, wide camera, 48 megapixel ultra wide, and 48 megapixel telephoto. We've kind of talked about the specs. Um, the Regular Pixel 8 will just get the have the same cameras as last year, at least in terms of uh, megapixels. The only difference would be that front one, which is going from 10.8 down to 10.5, but it'll still have the 50 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and you'll still get their VPN uh, by Google One at no extra cost. They also mentioned that it's also featuring, the cameras are featuring and the software overall are featuring Magic Eraser, Photo Unblur, Face Unblur, Night Sight, Real Tone, and more so some exciting stuff coming out with the prices and things like that for the pixel 8 and 8 pro the other big thing about the pixel 8 and 8 pro are the benchmark scores are so impressive um now i know the s23 ultra is almost a year old at this point um but the pixel 7 and 7 pro you know they had that tensor g2 processor and it didn't quite live up in terms of just raw performance of the the uh galaxy's processor in there which is that snapdragon 8 gen 2 but what about the tensor g3 versus the snapdragon 8 gen 2 well here are the benchmarks and they're really impressive so on the left you get the s23 ultra on the right you get the 8 pro now the 8 pro still doesn't beat it it almost ties it with the single core score and then is only a what about 250 points lower on the multi-core score but if you're expecting pretty much high-end gaming really high-end game and not have to have any caveats that especially with someone that has a snapdragon 8 gen 2 you're definitely going to see some improvements with this tensor g3 processor in terms of just raw to raw performance so it's always great to see that um, again once the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 comes out, it's another story. It's gonna completely destroy these marks, especially in the multi-core score. So they're always gonna be probably about a year behind in terms of performance, but still, it's good to see that they're working their way up. Thanks for watching, guys. Your question of the day is, do you have any interest at all getting in a Pixel 8 or 8 Pro? And if so, why? Let me know which one you're gonna get. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.